Hey guys, it's the DL Boxing Podcast, and I got Ot from the Ot and Barack Show. Ot, thank you so much for the interview, my man. Uh, dude, what'd you feel uh, hearing that news? Uh, Zerdo Ramirez, uh, Ian Rosado being canceled due to Ramirez not making it back to weight. What went through your mind, man? Yeah, I mean, first off, it sucks. I'm looking forward to that fight, but also it surprises me how these fighters do so often. Like, he knew he was going to be well over the fight, but they let him linger on all the way up to, up to the weight. I think we need to start putting the commission needs to start putting the news in a place where they monitor guys' weight leading up to the fight, especially you know, guys that are moving up like Rosado. You know, they should be monitoring the weight. You know, 100%, man. Not only do they let themselves down, but they let all the fans, the press, everybody down, right? Um, yeah, man. What, what, what's going on with the Akin Barak show? Is that still doing the zone show uh, daily? Or how's that yeah, going, yeah, man? Yeah, we host it live show daily show, and then we do the live show on the big fights, like the Canelo fights. So yeah. We'll be there. Monday we'll next for the AJ fight. Oh, that's going to be dope. And we'll be there for the Tank Ryan doing live shows Friday oh, and Saturday, man. and then we'll be uh, at the uh, Bam Bam fight before that. Texas, and then obviously Canelo and, uh, and a writer. Yeah, right. Are you guys going to be there next Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, we're at all the Canelo, Ryan, and AJ fights, so we'll be doing a uh, PBS show here. Right? Yeah. Speaking of AJ, uh, he's hooking up with Derek James. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we expect to see a uh, more, uh, well, more mature, uh, more focused AJ at yeah, this, I, this point in his career? Yeah, I, mean, I think AJ's always been focused for the most part. I think that he just needs a culture shock and a different type of training side he's getting at in Texas. You know, Derek is my boy. And I know yeah, he's going yeah. to get the best out of AJ. So I think we're going to see more aggressive AJ. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, a couple predictions out if you don't mind. Uh, we have a big fight with uh, uh, David Benavides and uh, Caleb Plant. How, how do you see that fight going down there? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really give you a prediction, man, because I, I like both guys. Yeah, I'm cool with both guys. Right. But I think it's going to be a... I'm saying it's a 50-50 fight. And that's True. cliche, but right. obviously plant has showed us that he can punch saw what he did with, with Durrell. Anthony Durrell. He can obviously box. He had moments against Canelo. Yeah. But yeah. I've never seen Benavidez shredded the way he is. He's <laughs> never trained as hard right. in his life. Yeah. So we're going to get the best version of David and the best version of Plant. So uh, I'm going to be enjoying that fight. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely going to win, man. And the one more fight, Doc. Um, we Tank, can't call this one. What, Tank, Tank Davis? Yeah. I'm, I'm not giving <laughs> a prediction Brown. for that. Right? But I can't give my prediction listen, either, man. You, you don't want to miss that fight. I'll just say that. It's going to be a very interesting night. But, we, but, yeah. but you know, it'd be nice if Ryan wins because the rematch is going to be yeah. produced by oh. the zone. No, that's oh, there, there you go, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and Ryan but, has a big chance to do it. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. He has power, speed, all that. Yeah. Attack is a very dangerous, skilled fighter. We've had him on a compound as Barack and myself for a while. Tank is one of the best fighters in the world. So no Ryan has his hands full. But if anybody can pull it off, it's Ryan. So I'm excited about this one. I'll be at Vegas for the center with no prediction. 100%. Hawk, thank you so much for your time.